So pretty much uh, it's not really related to maths as much as people think. You're moving it so fast, it's, it's reminding me from the hyperlapse videos that I do. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Giovanni Contardi and I'm a Rubik's Cube artist from Italy. In 2009, when I was 15, I learned how to solve a Rubik's Cube. And then since then I've done many competitions all around the world. I've done world championship, I've been Italian champion, I had world records. And then at one point I was like, okay, I've learned the skill, what do I do with this? And that's how from just being able to solve a Rubik's Cube very fast, I mix it with art and created a new form of art. So what you're telling me is you're combining the difficult talent of a Rubik's Cube solving yes. with art, yes. with a business model somehow, a financial exactly. model yeah. where yeah. you're able to uh, live off of this. This is your job. Your this is my full-time job. This, this, is, this is all you do. Yes. And it's something that, that when your mother explains to a neighbor <laughs> what does your son do, uh, he's an artist, like you normally you just put it that way, because if you say you're is a Rubik's Cube artist, what does that mean? What you know, does that mean? People have to see my art to understand what, how it works, because uh, uh, it's hard to understand at first, without seeing it, how you can create an image with just the colors of the cube. Because uh, something in regards to what I do is that there are only six colors in the cube. So in terms of business, uh, I actually went to business school while I was starting creating this mosaic and putting them on Instagram and thinking about how can I make this my job. And there is something particular in marketing, which is if you are the only one doing something, you, are, you have a great value in what you do. So it was a great starting point for me to start this business. Okay, so uh, tell me more about, 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 about the process. So, yes. Uh, the cube that I'm seeing here, it's, it's not a standard Rubik's cube. And then you have this that you, that, so you take, you take a full image, regular image, and then you, work on the yeah. and yes. yes. So um, this is the hardest part of my job and it generally takes between seven and ten days to create the image. Seven to ten days to yeah. create one image? Yes. But the reason is that because I like to work on it personally. So there are programs now that you put a picture and it gives you with the color of the cube but the result won't be as good. Okay. The reason is that a computer doesn't yet fully understand the best way to portray an image with this amount of pixels and these few colors. So a human, it's better at doing this so far. So I like to spend a lot of time working on the uh, better definition. Uh, of course, in this case in particular, we had a lot of blue just because of the hair of the Mona Lisa. But um, pretty much what I do is I work with light and shade in a picture. And I actually work with my pictures in black and white because what I do is I use from the lightest color to the darkest. So from white to blue. And then I use yellow, orange and red in between. If you notice, I actually don't use green, which is a color of the cube. And the reason is that uh, it doesn't match well with this scale, with this okay. method that I okay. created. The type of chromes that you yeah, need. Yeah, different. yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, once I have this, as you can see, it's divided into single oh, Rubik's cubes. Makes more sense to me now. Yes. So I exactly know how to do it. And this is actually the the easy part for me. So for example, this one here. Um, so now this is the same. So this is the process pretty much. And to make it with the cubes, this is a 700 cubes picture. It normally- 700, 700. Yeah. Yes, seven, to, be, to be precise, 725. <laughs> this one takes me a couple of hours with the cube. So it's not too long with the cubes compared to how long it takes me for the drawing. What I try to focus on is um, what do other people see? Because the scope of my art is I want other people to like it as much as I do. Oh, yeah. And so um, I just look in the case of portraits, I just want the people to recognize who's in the portrait. So I'm just focused on is this recognizable? Can people with a blink recognize who this person is? So. Two years ago, if you go back to my Instagram, my design were not as good. What I like about this, because, of, because a lot of what I do is I think about business and things yeah. like this. So what I like about this, in your case, is it's, uh, it's more difficult for others to copy you because there's the underlying layer of being able to solve a cube, yes. which is a skill set that yes. is not easy. So that's the basis yes. of this. And then you're adding the art layers. So exactly. even if yeah. uh, I'm an artist and I want to do well, 
you know, but you I need to learn the tools. Yeah. So, so yeah. this is this is the this is the the, 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 the difficult part for it. Yeah. But I'm very happy that you're able to monetize this. And it's something that you live off now. Yes. I'm very happy that you're able to, to, to combine your 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 passion for cubing. Um, you you found an art angle, which yeah. also shows you're an artist. You're not doing this just uh, just for that. Yeah. And to be able to wrap all of this together in a monetized way, uh, this is. Ideal. The, the thing is, if you want to make it a business, you have to work many hours. Whatever it is, you have to put in a lot of hours. So if you like it, it's much better because you have to do it sometimes maybe even 13, 14 hours a day to launch the business. And so if you don't like it, you cannot put all those hours and be happy about it. <laughs> I mean, it's harder. Whereas with what I do, I'm here teaching people how to solve the cube and solving cubes and making mosaic, which I was doing in my free time before and now I'm getting paid. So, yeah, if you can find something that you like and make it uh, a business, it's totally doable.